Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Angelus Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the processes of the 3D printing such as the stereolithography, FDL and SLS. So in this particular video, we will learn the another new 3D printing technology which is very much similar to the previous one that is stereolithography. So in this video, we are going to learn about the process which is called as the DLP process that is nothing but the digital light processing. So as the name itself indicates that so over here the light is required that is the processing will be carried out or it's 3D manufacturing rapid prototyping will be manufactured by using the light processing. So in this particular DLP process the laser which we have used in the stereolithography is replaced by the arc lamp or as the source of light. So guys, if you are new to my educational channel, Engineers Academy, kindly consider your subscribing because your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational videos. And guys, please do share all of my videos to your friends, family, social networks. So let's begin with our today's topic that is of DLP, Digital Light Processing. So in order to understand the today's concept of DLP, First, you have to watch that previous video of serial lithography because the equipment and the actual process of the curing and manufacturing of the 3D object is the same over here in the case of DLP. So DLP is very much equivalent to the stereo lithography, except there is one deviation that is in case of stereo lithography, we have used the laser which will ultimately uh, like uh, project a 3D replica of the object uh, on that surface of the wet polymer and this particular lasers, laser creates a layer on layer and it will uh, like prepare a 3D model or you will get a 3D prototype. In the case of DLP, the laser is replaced by the arc lamp, basically a source of light. So this particular light gets projected in the form of the desired shape on the surface of the liquid wet polymer and that particular liquid polymer gets hardens up very easily. Like over here, the time consuming in the laser to carry out a shape that particular time gets saved over here in the DLP. So DLP we can say that this is the much faster process than stereo lithography but overall the process and the equipment which are used which these are every same. So guys please watch my video of this uh, stereo lithography you can click here on the top right corner okay and after watching that video you can continue watching this video of DLP. So guys I hope you have watched the previous video of the stereo lithography let's continue with the DLP process. So now over here in the DLP process, the equipments which are used are very much same. So that is nothing but the firstly, a computer is required, a liquid bat polymer is required, a tank is required and also uh, that arrangement we can call it as the table, which is having the arrangement of the vertical lifting, like it will move vertically upwards and downwards. So that also another, uh, that is also required and a uh, arc lamp, which is with the LCD monitor. So this is also required. So these are the equipments which are required in the DLB process. So the first process, first stage in any rapid prototyping or any 3D manufacturing process is to create the 3D model. So now that particular 3D model or we can call it as the CAD 3D model gets extracted into the STL file type. So that STL file type is nothing but the standard tessellation language, which is nothing but the uh, uh, geometry of the required object. So this particular geometry consists of the different layers, layers by layers. So this particular file will be an input to the 3D printer and the 3D printer can only understand this STL file type so that the 3D printer can understand the instructions which are there in the STL file type. So over here, this particular computer is connected to the uh, source of light. We can call it as the arc lamp. This particular arc lamp projects a different prerequisite shape on the surface of the wet liquid polymer. So when that particular light gets projected on the surface of the liquid polymer, the surface on the liquid polymer hardens very much rapidly and the first layer gets created. So for the second layer, this particular table move upwards so that the another layer gets formed over here and uh, then the process one gets repeated. The like the light gets projected on the surface of the liquid wet polymer and the second layer gets created. So so as to move on, the table will move upwards and it will create the layers on layers on each other. These layers will fuse together with uh, like with the consecutive layers and uh, the 3D model gets extracted or else the 3D model gets extruded in that particular liquid polymer resin. So this is how the DLP process actually works. So over here, the main parameter is nothing but the time is saved 
over in the DLB process rather than in the case of the stereo lithography. As in case of stereo lithography, we have used the lasers which will take time to draw the 2D shape on the surface of the liquid polymer. The materials which are used are mainly nylon, ABS and most of the materials are the like thermoplastics. So in the liquid form and a lot of the intricate shapes or as we can call it as the irregular shapes can be manufactured e very easily by this particular process. But over here the like the overhangs and the undercuts also required some sort of supports such as in the case of stereo lithography. In that case we also need some sort of the external support but over here also in this particular process we also need some sort of the external support because the process is very much similar. The arrangement of the in this particular process can be of the table which will move vertically upwards and downwards. This is the first arrangement. The second arrangement can be of the side moving table. So in this particular side moving table, that particular table gets slides upon the surface of the liquid polymer to create another layer on layer object. So it will slide on the surface and simultaneously it will move upwards. So this arrangement is very common and nowadays most of the printers these are using this kind of arrangement. Now this DLB 3D print technology is much faster and this type of the printers can produce the uh, can print the objects with higher resolution in very much less time. There are some sort of the DLB printers such as Envision, Tech Ultra, MeCraft high resolution 3D printer and LunaVast XG2. So these are the some sort of the examples of the 3D printers which are available in the market right now. So moving ahead towards the application of this particular DLP printers such as like DLP printers can be very much useful in the prototyping or, or as we can call it as the master pattern making in the different uh, investment casting processes. Also the most of the functional prototype testing equipments can be very much easily manufactured with this particular DLP process. The complicated shapes which are required in the jewelry design can be easily manufactured by using this type of 3D printing technology. So this kind of DLP printers are used in the low volume limited edition products which are used in manufacturing industry which will have the some sort of the complex geometries. So this type of technology can be useful in the circuit designing. The circuit can be directly 3D printed on the required object and it will give you the flexibility of the design so if you talk about the like the further processing like when the part gets 3d printed from the particular printer there are the further processing that we require like uh, removing the extra plastic material okay that will add act as a support basically in the process of curing and some sort of the oil painting or we can call it as the adding on primer coating painting so this type of the finishing operations which are carried out on that particular 3d printed object to improve the surface finish and the aesthetic looks so guys as we have seen that this dlp process is very much similar to the stereo lithography process except the laser is replaced by the uh, arc lamp so this particular arc lamp projects the cross sections basically we can call we can see over here this arc lamp projects the cross section and this particular different cross sections produce the different layers and the total the 3d model gets extracted we can call it as the 3d model gets extruded from the liquid polymer so this is how this dlp process actually works so guys in this particular video we have seen the process of dlp its um, equipment it's the actual process its uh, applications so if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video <music>